Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a video that I wasn't going to do, but I feel like it needs to be done because there's a little, well, I don't want to say cheat, but you can make some serious money in this game. Um, we're playing on easy, but it holds true throughout all the different uh, difficulty levels, and what we're looking at today is the most valuable crop. So, uh, the first thing that people do when they look at the crop charts is they look at the different prices and go, oh my gosh, this crop's worth a lot more. Um, so why would I grow anything else? And we're going to kind of do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our chart. Um, so we're looking for the most valuable crop. This is going to be a simpler video than the one in 2017. And in a minute, I'll explain why. Um, here you can look at our chart here. Right now, soybeans are they're hitting it hard. In fact, the Gold Crest Pacific Grain is taking t almost three thousand dollars for um, per what is it ten a thousand liters? That's a pretty good price. So we're gonna go ahead and grow soybeans first, um, and then we're gonna go down for a crappy crop. Uh, we'll look at mm, let's say wheat. Uh, I don't really want to. I could do sugar beets. The, the The surprise winner of the 2015 most valuable crop was the sugar beets, uh, with potatoes being maybe the same, because potatoes, you can actually reuse the seeds. Um, you can reuse the potatoes as seed. You can't really do that with the most valuable crop award uh, with the radishes. I'm sorry, not radishes, sugar beets. <laughs> they look like radishes. Um, so where's the sugar beet one? The 2015 one, that's not going to be the case here. Now, why do I say that? Well, if I grow sugar, if I if I grow these soybeans and go, wow, this is really high price. The thing I'm forgetting is that over here, though this might be a higher price, and this one only gets 1,200, you get over twice as much wheat from a field as you do soybeans, and you also get straw, which you can sell, and that adds a bonus benefit to the amount that you're selling. So. Uh, and here's the thing that changes all of this. The reason why I haven't done a most valuable crop award is because as you sell product, the prices drop. So if you sell a whole bunch of soybeans, the entire market's going to crash. The value of the soybeans are going way down. So only one trailer full, that first trailer full is really your best money. Once you sell that first trailer full, the market begins to take a dive. So there's no way to pick a most valuable crop because the prices are always changing, and they change drastically. So there's no way to tell you, oh, this crop's worth. So why am I doing this video? Well, there's a little trick I'm going to show you at the end because <laughs> there is a most valuable crop, and uh, we'll get to that. But the first thing we do, we're going to compare, just so you guys can see with your own eyeballs, we're going to do on this field 21 here, we're going to do one crop of soybeans and one crop of wheat. Uh, the field has been plowed and cultivated, and once we seed, the field will also um, be fertilized. So we're going to have the same amount of seed on the same field with the same setup for both crops, and then I'm going to show you why it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to be the same either way. So let's go ahead and get this started. I have here the field anaconda. <laughs> you say, where did you get that tractor? This is one of those... Um, special edition tractors that Teddy gave me. Um, if you... Uh, I'm not really supposed to redistribute these because they're from a uh, a Giants. Uh, oh, come on, dude. They're from Giants, uh, and Teddy bought a DLC or a special edition. And for some reason, in their galactic wisdom, Giants... Um, made them so that you can copy them from one computer to another. <laughs> so, uh, But I really can't distribute them without doing it illegally, so I can't I can't do it. But this is... That field anaconda comes from that series. No, I don't want to... So that's what this tractor is, if you like it. Keep looking. Um, some of the early adopters were also given a cow pattern tractor. But I know people are going to ask, where did you get that? I'm sure on Mod Hub somewhere, there's a tractor that looks just like this that has a very similar or the same pattern. So don't. You're going to have to do some research, but they are out there. I just, like I said, 
because it's an actual purchase item, if I start giving him away, uh, I could get in big, big trouble. So I'm not going to do that. So. This is a nice heavy tractor, though. Um, which, honestly, if you guys remember, I had issues with the Big Bud 450 pulling this cedar. Oh, my cedar's open. Oops. There we go. Um, <laughs> close the hatch. But this tractor pulls it just fine. And you can also get this tractor in the game already. Just no Viper paint scheme. Oh, I'm going to have to hit that again. Dang it. We're trying to get it as perfect as possible, so I thought I had it, but I'm going to have to go back and hit that little patch once again. If I would have been smart and just used my uh, ridge markers <laughs> or the GPS mod. I do have it installed, I think, so. But I'm lame. All right, so I'm going to finish this up, and I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch as I clean up the little spots that I missed. I'll be right back. 100% coverage of the field, sir. Yep. We have finished our field. It is 100% covered. So now we're going to go grab a fertilizer and fertilize the crap out of this. I'll be right back. All right. All right, so here we go. We're going to unfold this monster sprayer. And like the cedar, I can imagine doing more than three passes with this. I think it's probably going to be two passes, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, not even, like a pass and a half. All right, I love this thing. Uh, now, Jade explained to me she owns one of these in real life, one of these, one of my farmer friends here on the channel, uh, that you're supposed to roll about three miles an hour when you're spreading this out, so, in real life, because she has a real one. <laughs> so it's a two to three, no more than three miles an hour when you're spreading the wheels out. Still not happy with my alignment, so here we go. And turn the bad boy on, and spray. Why did I pick this field? Well, obviously, it's small. Small. So I'm going to go ahead and fertilize this, and I will catch up with you once I am done. Oh, and I should point out, just so you don't feel frustrated, I do use huge freaking equipment for these tutorials. Uh, this is a test map. People always ask me, how did, I get, how did you get so much money? Well, uh, I cheated it in. So, <laughs> no, I don't have a farm where I actually earned $86 million. I think my most, the most I've earned on a farm probably is just over a million, maybe two million. Um, <laughs> I usually don't make it far enough where I can afford this big equipment. What I did was, if you go into the save games, there is, I'm not even going to tell you because I'm going to get some people that go in there and blow their games up and then they're going to get mad at me. So let's just say this. I did some XML editing in the file folders that is in on the PC version is what we're playing right now. Uh, I do not have the console version. I don't even have a console to play it on. But if it comes off for the Switch, I might get it because it's fun to play on the Switch. Uh, it's a little tiny screen, but it's kind of fun to play. So we'll see. There's rumors that it's coming for the Switch. So I may get it for that. But... Um, Anyway, uh, I'm playing on the PC. I edited the XML file and gave myself $100 million. Uh, why? Well, because <laughs> in order to buy all this equipment, I just want to be able to buy whatever I need for the tutorial. So that is what I have done. All right, here. So we have our field fertilized, planted, cultivated. It's all ready to go. I'm going to use the advanced time mod here. We're going to fly forward to the next day uh, the crop's going to grow I think it might be on slow growth uh, oops it's going to be done I should have let go of this you have to let go once in a while of the from the fast forward because <laughs> I'm waiting I just want to see what happens it must be on slow growth oh hold on hold on it's probably going to pop in the middle of the night, but I'm not going to harvest at night. We're going to wait till tomorrow morning. Here we go. Let's see where we're at with the crop. Oh, another phase. So let's say by mid-afternoon, our soybean crop is going to be bumper. Okay, evening. Ta-da! 
Okay, so it's uh, 6.30 in the evening. I'm going to grab a harvester. I will be right back. All right, we're ready to harvest. Got the monster harvester here. I'm realizing I'm going to... Oh, no! I wanted to disable... Ah! Why was this... Oh, duh! I'm thinking straw swath and this freaking... Wheat. It's not... It's uh, soybeans. There is no straw swath. So, um, we're going to mow all this down. I need to get a truck to carry it to the sale point. I, since we had to go through three days, I doubt our market's going to be the same. In fact, let's take a look real quick here at the, um, the market. Wow, everything is down. Look at that. So he, here's what I'm telling you. Even with uh, our market prices set, like you think that you're going to get something out. Look, we had $2,900 was what we had when we were coming in here. Now... The prices have already dumped, like down to the bottom, and they're not. It's not worth anything anymore, and that's just the market. It just does that. So, th this is why you can't really do a most valuable crop this way. <laughs> a little teaser there for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue harvesting. We'll see you in just a minute. All right, we have our truck. Got the Tatra with the IT runner set up. This is a mod. Um, very useful mod, actually. Um, so I'm going to unfold pipe out. And we're going to put this in the front bin, and then we'll put the wheat in the back bin. I think we should have enough skipper space to do both crops. Whoa. Overshot a little bit there. Yeah, we'll just fill it from here. <laughs> in real life, that'd be going all over the place, but Farm Sim does not do that. It just goes into the trailer. Or on the ground. But it's not both. It never does both. It does one or the other. So let's go ahead and pull this guy off to the side here so he's not in the way. So we have our first crop picked. <laughs> Who cares? It's a test map. And I'm going to go ahead and move our crop truck off the field. And we're going to go ahead and cultivate and seed. This time we're going to do wheat. And when it's all said and done, we'll see where the market's at. Maybe the soybean market will continue to rise again. Um, because we still have three days before we sell, so we're going to grab it two days or however long it took to grow it. So let's grab our field anaconda. Anaconda. Andyconda. Andyconda leaves a rise. Alright, that was a silly joke. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna um, unfold this. Slows way down when I'm unfolding. Until it's done. And in three passes, we should be all set. We'll see. Man, I have a splitting headache today. Ugh. I had way too much sugar yesterday. If you guys ever do that, you get headaches from eating too much sugar, but I definitely do. Uh, it was Mater's birthday, and they had like two pieces of cake. And earlier in the day, I had a... Uh, Ryan had some cupcakes. It's like, I'm just like, oh, oh, my head. The joys of getting older. It's like your body doesn't process things like it used to. All right, there's that. Does it get caught? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it would pass through, but no. Oh, and I'm really hung up. I did miss a spot there, too. I'm going to have to, once again, go back and get it. Which is weird, because I really kind of overlapped, but I guess not enough. All 
All right, so I'm going to finish this up. We'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so I am beeping my horn by mistake. Toot. Tooting my own horn. <laughs> Come on, stand. Stay on target. These articulates are never easy to drive. So, the seeding is taking place. We're, place. We're uh, planting wheat. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Oh, yeah, you know the drill. Uh, so I'm fertilizing the wheat in the fertilizer. I'll be back. <laughs> is it me, or does this thing really look like a lobster when it's <laughs> when those antennae are out? It just looks like a lobster. Uh, all right. Let's let the crops grow. So we hop out of our tractor and I control R it. Weep. We're going to let it go for at least 36 hours. There it goes. It's starting to grow a little bit. Hop in the morning. Let's let it catch up a little bit. Sometimes it takes a while for the crops to catch up to the speed. But in this case, no. We're done. Nope, there it goes. Ding. See, so there's a bit of a delay. Yeah, we know for sure. We, okay. Good. All right. Tomorrow morning. Let's see where we're at. Let it grow. Let it grow. Let it grow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll never sing that again. I swear to God. So by this afternoon, let's go ahead and... Oh, it's going to rain. Okay, there we go. It's uh, 3 o'clock, and it's ready to harvest. So we have our wheat. I'm going to grab the harvester. We're going to make sure that the straw swath is enabled. So let's see. It's always backwards. Enable the straw swath. Yes. There we go. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and harvest this, and we're going to leave behind a nice swath of straw. This time we're going to include that in our... Now, I don't have the destruction crop on, so... This time we're going to include that in our... No, no calculations because it does make a difference being able to sell the straw now sometimes you're gonna keep the straw no 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 stop oh <laughs> blop we have to pick that up too uh, sometimes you can keep the straw to feed your animals but we're looking at a value of the crop and that includes selling the straw because that's part of the crop honestly and a lot of times if you're in dire straits or have a very small farm you can sell straw to help keep things going help to buy seed, those kind of things. So it is worthwhile to sell your straw. Yes, sir. -y. And in fact, that's going to be part of our secret most valuable crop. I know you guys are all dying to know what it is. I know. But I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to make you wait. And we're just going to go through the phases of it, and then you'll be like, oh, that makes sense. No wonder he was saying that was the most valuable crop, because it is. We're going to sell them all at once. That way you guys can see the pricing all at the end of the video. Um, In fact, we'll set up for a sell. We'll set up for a sell. Sell setup. We'll find where the highest prices are. We'll get the equipment all right where it needs to be to sell. And we'll do a comparison. It's going to be grand. It's going to be great. It's going to be more than second rate. Sorry. It's going to be wonderful. Was that the New York song? New York, New York. We're the best. This is hell. This is blah, 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 blah. <laughs> New York. Doo -doo. What is that from? I know it's, it, it's in Escape from New York, but I'm trying to think of where the original song is obviously some kind of Broadway song. from the musical New York. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm not into musicals and stuff, so I don't know. Like, I've never been a big Broadway 
uh, fan. Like, <laughs> dude, you have to. What was it? What's the one that they? Uh, is it Bewitched? What's the one that they do for? Uh, no, it's not Bewitched. Wicked, I think it's called. The uh, Wizard of Oz. I've never seen it. <laughs> Cats. I don't know. Like whatever these Broadway shows are, I, I just don't. I get it. Like they have to overact to like make it work. It makes me crazy. I really don't like overacting. I don't like people running around and dancing in funny costumes. I just it, it doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> it's like modern ballet. <laughs> I don't like old ballet either. Oh, look at me. I'm so uncultured, like a swine. Like, I hate opera. I do. Oh, gosh, I hate opera. Except for there was one opera. It didn't have any characters or anything. It was just an, a, like a piece of music. And I, I wish I knew what it was. I'm actually trying to figure out what it was. Uh, the Cleveland Orchestra did, maybe like when I was first married to my current ex-wife, my only ex-wife, um, we went to Blossom. Actually, we probably were dating at the time. I think we were dating. Like, I was in, I was still in college. And we went to see the Cleveland Orchestra play um, The Planets and uh, by Gustav Holtz. And I just... Now, I love orchestra. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love you know, like, classical music. But I don't like opera. But they had this aria beforehand, before they started doing The Planets, they had a couple other pieces in the, the, the program. And... It was this, they call it a space opera or something. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable, and I loved it. It was, a, it was a female vocalist who sang it, and it was just beautiful. And I wish I could have remembered, I wish I would have kept the program to look up what it was. Because usually I would, like if I go to a concert, like an orchestra concert, I usually keep the program so I can, you know, if I like something, I can go back and, and you know, go, oh, yeah, I love that, and, uh, and get it. But... I didn't. I was a fool. So, stupid me. So I'm going to put the pipe out. You can see here we have twice as much wheat. That's what I'm talking about. So even though the price on soybean was almost double and a half, we got about a double and a half of product because this only has 5,000 soybeans, but we have like 11,000. Okay, 6,000. Yeah. I think the soybeans will probably be this time worth a little bit more, maybe, but the price has dropped. So let's look at the prices for today and see where we're at. And we're not even going to be getting today's prices. Okay, soybeans are rocketing. Wheat has also gone up a little bit, though it's dropping in some places. Once again, you, can, you never can tell. You never can tell what it's going to be. By the time the crop grows, you don't know where you're going to be at. You don't know. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. And I'm going to get the straw off the field using a collection wagon. Hopefully, we'll be able to get it into one collection wagon. Should be able to get it into the big one. Should have been gone. So we're going to fill this up. The truck is actually going to get split. The truck is going to go to the highest price for soybean. The trailer is going to go to the highest price for wheat. You'll see how I set this all up. So we're done with our second crop. Our most valuable crop is the crop that we're going to plant next. I'm going to go ahead and cultivate, plant it, and get it ready for harvest. We're going to do the same steps. It's going to get cultivated, planted, and then fertilized. So it's all the same. We're doing it the same exact way. The difference is I'll, you're going to join me when I do the harvest so you can see what crop it is. And you're going to go, what? And it still isn't going to make sense until we start selling that crop. So... I'm going to go ahead and pop this truck over here for now and split off that trailer. Let's see here. That's this. Right? No. Is it this? There we go. Perfect. Okay. So I will be back in a few minutes. We're going to go ahead and get the straw collected, and you can join me for a little bit of that. And so we'll be right back. All right. Let's get this, let's get this party started. It's time to... Uh, collect some of this wheat we're gonna take it down I'm hoping that we don't get or straw I mean I'm hoping we don't get 50,000 liters like in three passes let's each pass let's see as long as it's around 10,000 we should be good eight nine I don't know 10 11 they're gonna have about 45,000 
all together. So we should be able to fit the entire field's worth of straw into this bin. So I'm going to go ahead and collect all of this and send it over to the farm uh, because that's where you sell it. You sell Now, straw can be sold in a variety of places on some maps. Okay, This is the default map, so that's not the case. Uh, it can only be sold here at the farm. But uh, some maps allow you to sell straw in different locations. If you do that, the price will vary. So, uh, But if you sell it at your farm, it's at the barn, and I'll show you the barn. The, there's a magic barn on a lot of maps. It's not on every mod map, but it's on every giant's map. There's a location that shows a bale, <laughs> and that's where you sell your straw, and you get the same price every time. The straw market does not fluctuate. These are all hints to our most valuable crop, but we... You're not there yet. It's not strong. So don't get your... Don't get your undies in a bunch. Because that's not the answer. But there is a similar answer. There's a place that you can go. Where the, str where the, where the value of a certain crop is always the same. And because of that, you can consistently make money. And not only is the value the same, the value is high. Oh, man. Guys, oh, we're going to get to it. We're, I'm, not, I'm not revealing my secrets yet. Some of you may already know what it is, but I'm not telling you. This harvester we can actually just move off because I'm done with this. This guy's... We're just going to plant him right in the middle of the interstate and cause a traffic jam. How's that sound? Oh, or not. But we're going to cause it going the other way because I don't want... Actually, we can cause it right... Stop it. Oh, come on. Collision detection's a little off right there. We're going to block all the traffic here. Just because I'm a jerk. Ta-da. Oh, did I park in the middle of the road? Farmers in real life, that'd be like a total ticket. <laughs> right. Whatever. That's my ex-wife. Do you sense attitude? I'm trying, guys. I really am. I, I Sometimes I feel like I've come a long way in forgiving her for all the stuff that went on. Um, <laughs> for those of you that are new to my channel, what am I talking about? Don't worry about it. Go back through some of my um, old stream videos. I have a, a, a video about collecting gold and um, and uh, also talking about divorce <laughs> and what we what happened in my marriage, at least from my perspective. Uh, so anyway, you can go check that out. Old streams, gold hunt, and divorce talk. That is what it's called. Uh, I'm going to run this tractor over to the magical barn. I'll show you the magical barn when we get there, but we're not going to sell it yet because this is going to be part of the wheat sale. So we're going to calculate um, all of the... Uh, uh, what are we going to calculate? We're going to calculate how much the wheat plus the straw is worth, and so we'll do it all at once. So I will be back momentarily. And ladies and gentlemen, here is the magical barn. Okay, you'll notice on the map, if I look at my map, um, you'll see that there's a cell point here. Sometimes it shows a bale, sometimes it shows this cell point. Um, I'm actually used to seeing the bale. I'm surprised this one has a cell point symbol. But you'll notice here there is a little red thing, and this is where we sell. And there's a little indicator. It tells us right here, hint, hint, getting rid of straw and hay. That's what you're looking for. Uh, on Soznovka, which is the other map, it's a very different looking building. It's actually a flat gray building. It's across the street from the main silo in Soznovka. So if you're playing on the Russian map, which is the other map for this uh, game that comes with it, it's a different looking structure, but we're looking for a lot of map modders use this structure. It has the little bale symbol on it. Um, this is what you want. Not all maps have this, so if you don't, if you're on a map that does not have a straw cell point, and it can be different. Like I know in old streams, it's actually at the mill, and it's a, it's a, um, um, it's part of the cell point. So you have like a, a, a place where you can dump your grains and stuff, but then there's also a straw cell point. So uh, same with Belgique Profonde. Uh, it's a different building. It's not this kind of building, but it's, it has, it's, its symbol is a little hay bale. It looks kind of like those hay bales, but it's, it's on the map. If you look at the map where that chicken is, imagine a hay bale being there or a straw bale. That's, that's what it's going to look like, one of those round bales. So um, you go to those places... In fact, let's take a second here, uh, and I'm going to show you 
what those places look like. So you can just see what some of the different things that happen. Um, they're all cell points, but they all do the same thing, and this is what you're looking for. So, ladies and gents, this is Soznovka. Um, so here is our. This is the other map that comes with the game, and I just want to show you, like I was saying, this is this is what the bale. Now you can see here. This is what I want to tell you. Uh, on this map, instead of a cell point, you can see here on the map, you can see where my arrow is. If you look where I'm flashing there, see that round bale symbol? That's the symbol that I'm talking about. So you got the cows. I'm standing on the gas symbol, and just to the left of that is a little picture of a bale. That's your bale cell point. So some maps have it marked like that. And uh, so we'll come over here. This is what the bale cell point looks like on Soznovka. It's right across the street from the main farm. And uh, people always ask, it's funny because people just must not try things because they always ask me whenever i show people this map they're like what map is that it's included with the game guys <laughs> it comes with the, the game it's the second there's two maps that come with the game this is one of them <laughs> if people don't know anyway so this is soznovka uh and so here's this the bale cell point as i was kind of talking about and here it says getting rid of straw and hay is just telling us a little note and you can just drive in here and dump your dump your straw you can dump the bales anything that you have um or you'll find out the secret bestseller uh, and so here's this is this is what it looks like here i'm gonna take you to another one. here's another example it's not really marked on this map this is cold bro bro oh never mind i went to the old sale point here's the new one okay so on this map once again it's marked by a bale like it was on the last map and here it is now this one doesn't have the little marker that says getting rid of straw and hay but you can see it's clearly marked and here's the piles of straw this is where you sell straw in the old version of this map. It had several. It had one over here. It had one at the main farm. But right now, this is the only one I'm seeing on the map. So anyway, um, this it could look like this. <laughs> Last but not least, I wanted you to show you a sale point, like I told you, that is not on the farm. This one has been modernized. This is Old Streams version 2. You can see here the symbol is not the bale symbol that we've been seeing. It's the same sell point symbol that we saw on Goldcrest. Uh, here it is. Once again, though, they have the nice little boop that says getting rid of straw and hay. Uh, so this cell point is at, if you look on the map, our farm is a pretty good distance away. This is down at the only cell point that's on this map. So sometimes that's how they do it. Um, there'll be a, like a regular cell point, which is around the back here. If you follow this road, it goes to where you sell your grains and potatoes and all that stuff. And uh, here is the cell point for the straw and hay. Back to Goldcrest. All right, so we're back on Goldcrest. So once again, you're looking for the place where it says getting rid of straw and hay or... It has the bale symbol, like you saw on those other maps. So, um, But you'll see piles of straw in there, and you'll see this marking saying, hey, this is where you sell this stuff. That's the place that you want to go because the price never changes. It's all, No matter how much you sell, that price is going to stay the same. So you're going to get the most for your money at these sell points. And that leads us to our last crop. So what is the last crop? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the most valuable crop well, it's not grass, <laughs> but it's grass-related. Uh, some of you are going to hate this. Uh, Jade, I know already she's going to be mad that I'm showing people how to do this because it's cheating. Is it cheating? Uh, well, let's harvest it, and I'll show you exactly where we're getting. Uh, I need to unfold the tool. What is so valuable about grass? Well, you're about to find out. Turn that front mower on. Fold the back. I'm going to try to stick to the field if possible. We might go overlapping a little bit, but... Actually, I'm underlapping a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha, underlap. We'll go off the edges, though, at the end, so that'll kind of make up for our little underlap. Now, the harvesting of grass takes a lot more time. And if you're playing with the Seasons mod, this, well, what I'm about to show you does not count, because the Seasons mod changes the way the bales work. So, um... And it changes the prices of the bales, too, a little bit. So just be aware that this is what I'm talking about for this portion of the game. 
we are dealing with the stock game, not the Seasons mod. If you're playing the Seasons mod, once again, that's going to change things. I know if you're on console, you don't have the Seasons mod, so this will definitely apply to console players. Um, yeah, I know. Where do I get the John Deere mods? If you're on console, I apologize. You really don't have very many options. Um, this mod was from modhub.us. Uh, in fact, all the John Deere mods I'm running today are from modhub.us. So don't feel bad, because that's where you can get them. Go to modhub.us, type in John Deere, and you're going to get a whole bunch of John Deere equipment. So if you're a John Deere fan and you're like, wait a minute. Crap, I missed a whole area there. I want to go back. Doing it on the fly is not always as easy as it looks. There should be a breakfast blend if that's empty. Then there should be Earl Grey if that's empty. Yeah, but ask, call and ask Seth, because Seth knows where it's at. Sorry, I'm talking to my son, right? Ask Soupy where it's at, because he knows. And he makes it. He made it yesterday. So he knows, Ryan. Call Soup, please. Ugh. Family matters. It does, really. And we're almost done with the mow. In this lovely John Deere 6R with the steering wheel awkwardly play straight up. <laughs> you can fix that uh, using the uh, space bar, but I just haven't done it. But this is a nice mod tractor. I think it has the... No, it has white headlights. Look at that. Finally. A lot of these modders are putting blue headlights on all the tractors. While it's cool looking, it's not really prototypical. Uh, you can also do all of this work with one tractor. I just happen to throw all the tractors out. And you can also do this with round bales. As long as you have a wrapper, that's the biggest thing. You have to be able to have a wrapper. If you don't have the Coon DLC, you can't do the square bales that I'm about to do. Okay, You have to use round bales. Because without the Coon DLC, you don't have a round bale wrapper. Well, unless there's a mod. I think there's a mod one out there, so you could use that. But Alright, so we're going to probably should turn that off, huh? So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to win row next. This is how you have to do it. Once again, you don't have to use a three mower setup. You can use a lawnmower with a single mower. As long as you can row it or collect it, somehow you have to get it done. However you want to do it. If you want to use the disc mine mower, you can use the disc mine mower. There is no right or wrong with this. There's just getting it done. That thing sounds horrible when it starts up. This guy's going to back out from the street for now. He's right in the way. Actually, all these tractors are in the way. We're going to have some very unhappy traffic here in a minute. This is the Cow Voltra. If you pre-ordered the game, you got the Cow Voltra. <laughs> and this is the WRX Voltra. I don't remember where this came from. But it's pretty cool. It's like the racing. It goes... Uh, without the trailer on, it can go up to 82 miles per hour. <laughs> it's pretty dang fast for a tractor. With the trailer, it's not quite so exciting. Let's go ahead and get this unwrapped. This is the 8R mod that we've been using for a long time. It's an okay mod. Once again, modhub.us if you're looking for this mod. Uh, there's other places to get it to, whatever your favorite mod site is. Try to get it from the author site, actually, if you can. But unfortunately, I find a lot of times the author sites have, like, viruses on them, so I don't know. I'm not... They get mad at you if you take the virus, if you take it from somewhere else, but then they give you a link that has viruses, and it's like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. There's a big stir up in the mod, mod community right now, and a lot of the map makers are quitting. Uh, for various reasons. I know one of them quit because he kept being accused he would use other people's assets. Um, usually tried his best to thank everybody, but then people would, you know, still say, hey, you use this without saying thank you or whatever, and then they, they're pissed and they tell him not, they threaten to sue him and all this stuff, and so the guy finally was just like, you know what? He made some great maps, and he's like, you know what? I'm done. Have fun. See you later. So we lost a couple, that guy, uh, Big Hoss, and then we've had other guys, I think Steve, Stevie, 
And Stevie's made a lot of maps. Stevie's mad because people are relinking his maps without permission. And so he's quitting. So we're just we're losing map makers left and right. Uh, it's not a good thing. Um, but I don't know what to do. I mean, here's the thing. When you sign up with Giants and you make mods, they're... My, Giant says right on their website, like, hey, this is the property. When you make a mod for this game, it becomes property of the game. It's not your property. So you can't say, like, well, you can only download it from here, or you can only do this. It's supposed to be available for everybody from anywhere. So um, for those modders that can't live by that, well, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's right. But I also understand, you know, as somebody that does YouTube content, I'd be pretty pissed if people were taking my content and calling it theirs. So, I mean, I, I get it. I, I see both sides of it. It's, it's, a, it's a, I don't want to say it's a tough situation, but it's, it's a, it is a little bit of a conundrum. Because what's right and what's wrong? I, I don't know. It's a hard thing. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Look at all that traffic. <laughs> I've created quite a problem here. <laughs> all right, I'll be back all right. The next up is our next up is our cow Voltra. Uh, I like if you have a square bale wrapper, I definitely recommend this uh, because it makes it way easier to operate. You don't have to stop between each one. You can just roll and go. So once again, uh, if you can see where I'm headed with this, our most valuable crop is not silage, but it is. So even though the game took out the silage, you know, it used to be in Farm Sim 15, you could just sell silage and make a huge monster killing on it. But you can't do that anymore. However, bale prices don't fluctuate. So you can sell as many bales of silage as you want at that barn. You can't sell them at the biogas facility because at the biogas facility, the prices fluctuate. So if you dump them into that bin, your prices are going to drop. But if you sell them at the barn, they never lose their value. Every single bale that you sell is going to be the same price. <laughs> I believe on medium it's $980. I'm not sure what it is on easy. We're going to find out. But the whole point is we're going to we're going to finish this up and see what our final value is on the field as far as how many bales. We don't get that many bales, but it'll sh it still should be more money than we make from either crop. So if you're looking for a bumper crop with, whose value does not change, as long as you have one of those cell barns or cell locations like I showed you, you're going to be rolling in some money. Happy money. Happy, happy money. It's going to be good for you. And you're going to make some money fast. However, the downside is you have to have the equipment. However, like I said, you could use a, a small round baler as long as you have a wrapper and even a trailer. You don't have to use a collector like I'm using. You can just use like a, a bale trailer. You just have to be able to wrap the bales. So you mow the grass, wrap the grass. We're not making hay. We're wrapping grass. Yo, yo, yo. And that's it. You have your silage. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to finish up the uh, collection. I'll show you some wrapping and all that good stuff. It's got a neat little Ford tractor that I downloaded. Um, that tractor can also get double wheels, which is kind of cool. Now, the downside is we're going to have one half bale, which does not get to go to product until the next time. But that's just how it is, so we're going to live with that. I'm going to go ahead and dump the back stuff off. Hey, come on, eject. There we go. There it is. And I'm going to move this guy off, and we're going to block some more traffic just because it's fun. Ta-da! We must have had some kind of accident up ahead, I guess. Because the road's completely blocked. Thankfully, the local farmer stepped in and helped, right? So the next step is going to be to unfold our bale wrapper. And we're going to go collect some bales. <laughs> we're going to wrap them. So once again, if you're doing round bales, you buy a round bale wrapper. If you're doing square bales, this wrapper can actually, the one that I'm driving can do both round and square bales. So you could buy this one if you have the Coon DLC. If you don't, you're going to have to do round bales because you can't wrap the square bales unless you have the Coon. But if you have the Coon DLC, you can do this. Um, now, 
I want to show you this just so you know. Once again, if you don't have the Coon DLC, I need to make this clear because people are going to get confused. Go to Bailing Technology. You can do the exact same thing. You're going to buy this roll belt. You're going to make round bales. You're going to buy this Ursus round bale wrapper. And then you can buy this trailer to collect them, or you can collect them by hand and put them on this wagon. It's a pain in the butt. But you can you know, use your tractor to lift them and put them on here. But if you do this round baler, or this, uh, if you do the round baler, this Ursus and this little collection trailer, it's the same thing that we're doing. We're just doing this big baler, this collection wagon, and this. But you have to have the coon pack to do this. Otherwise, you can't wrap those round bales or, or the square bales. This is the only thing that will wrap the square bales, except for mods. And I don't know. I don't know if there's a mod out there yet. that I, There might be. I don't know for a fact. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm using the non-mod version because I do have the coon. I don't need to get a mod to do it. But I think... There are modified ones out there, so you don't have to necessarily buy the coon pack. I don't know. So, this is a long process, as you can see. Unlike harvesting the other grains, this takes a long time. But, look at that traffic jam. <laughs> Pretty soon we're going to have all the cars on the map stuck in this traffic. Of course, that's going to make a pain later. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish wrapping these. I'll catch you guys up when I'm done. So once again, I mean, it does take, well, I'm still harvesting. So here's the thing. I mean, you have to look at it like this is going to be worth more money. Definitely. And it's a good way to make money. There's more work, though, too. And so p some people, it can get grindy. And I think that's one of the reasons why people don't necessarily like it as a method to make money. Um, I don't necessarily know. I mean, you could look at it as cheaty, but once again... You have to do a lot of work to get there. Um, you've got to mow, you've got to rake, you've got to wrap, you've got to collect. Uh, so I don't know. Look, I even missed some. Oh, Arthur. Um, but there's, you know, it's it's there's a process that's involved. Whereas with a harvester, you just go out there, cut it down, and you're done. So you have to kind of consider the work factor. Once again, if you're using the smaller baling, the round baling equipment, you could use this little tractor for everything. You don't have to have like five separate tractors like I'm doing. I'm just doing that for fun. Uh, but you do have to have some equipment. However, if you're doing this instead of crops, you know, you don't really need to have a harvester. So that can be the money that you sell. Sell that and buy this. I haven't done it yet, honestly. We did it for a little while on our multiplayer Goldcrest map, uh, but I haven't done it in a while because um, it just kind of gets grindy you know all right so i'm done wrapping the bales i'm going to put this away right up here we're going to go ahead and collect them and then we're ready to do our little cell test um or almost i need to grab one of those big tractors and pull a trailer with it i'll probably grab the 7r i like that one the best okay so we're going to drop this and collect so basically to collect you're just going to drive down the field this holds 16 bales. Um, I think we have like 15. So we should have just enough to almost fill this up on this field. That's the other thing too. Unlike the harvester, you have to drive this back and forth and back and forth. So get used to driving back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and get this field collected. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. <laughs> Look at all this traffic. <laughs> it's like a... Nope. Don't want to unload those here. Ah, oh, dang it. I'm going to cancel that. Uh, that's going to be X, abort unloading. Stupid. All that traffic, they're all going in a big line. <laughs> it's like a big, it's like a funeral procession. Coming up only to show you wrong. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to um, drive over to the barn to get ready to sell these. We're not going to sell them yet, but we're going to get lined up to sell. Find out how much money we make. This one's going to be a little harder because it shows us in increments. But we'll figure out the price per bale. We have 14 bales. So whatever we get per bale, we multiply by 14. And we will have our answer. So I'm going to go ahead and run over there. I will see you guys in a minute for the great sell-off. The big sell-off. Here's the procession. 
<laughs> All right, so we have our. Let's take a look here at the market. Let's see what's going on. Where wheat is not doing well right now, but the price is still fairly high at Maplefield Mill, which means we're going to have to sell it via train. Mm, that's a pain in the butt, but we can do it. Um, the soybeans are doing pretty well. Oh, right, agribusiness. That's where we're going to go over the soybeans. Let's. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Hop out. And we're going to take our soybeans to the right agribusiness, which is located pretty close here, actually, uh, straight up the road. I'm going to run it up there. I'll see you guys in just a moment. There's a little more to do to getting this crop to its location. That truck is waiting up by the soybean field. We need to find the nearest, ah, there it is, train dump. Because the only way we can deliver this is via train. And I'll have my little handy-dandy calculator ready on my phone so that I can give you the exact amount because we're going to have to add this to the straw sale, which we have not done yet. We'll do it all at once. Ah, uh, it's got to go in here. Okay. <laughs> which means we've got to take the train out. <laughs> One of the few things that I like about Goldcrest... Oh, I like Goldcrest. I shouldn't say that. Goldcrest is actually an excellent map. Um, I just haven't played it much lately, except for the multiplayer, which I haven't done. I will be doing it, though, on Saturday this week, so if you guys are... Wanting to join the multiplayer? Please do. All right, so this is dumping, 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 dumping. And so that goes in there, and then we got to hop into the. We got to find a train. We got to find the right train, actually. Now I got a lot of equipment, so it takes a little while to get through everything. I usually edit this part out. Uh, this is the train I think I need, right? Which one is this? Let me look at. Nine, yeah, okay, so. We're gonna go ahead and start this guy up and make a run down the tracks. I'm having my tea while driving a train. Hopefully it's in a sippy cup so I don't spill it. <laughs> I'm really actually drinking tea. Ryan made me some tea, that's what we were... Talking about earlier, he's like, we don't have any tea. And I'm like, yeah, I know we've got tea somewhere. All right, so we're coming up to the depot where we just dumped our stuff, I think, right? Isn't this the right place? Yeah, that's it. That's it. The John Deere's probably back in there somewhere. So let's go ahead and hop out and see. we got to watch the car. We're putting this into the grain car. Probably turn my lights on for safety. And we're going to put our. Is this the right one? Uh oh. Maybe not. Is this the wrong? Is this the wrong one? No, this is where I put it. Uh. Okay. This is empty, right? Right? We dumped it out, right? Yeah, we dumped it out. Okay. Um, it goes in the grain car. Maybe I'm not far enough forward. Whoa! I just pressed something. Sorry. Oh, crap. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> I hit a wrong key combination on my thing, and it was like, boop. No, you don't. Okay, there's our wheat. I'm going to load that up into the grain car. And we're ready to go. It's kind of fun driving the train. There aren't too many maps that utilize it. There are a couple. There are a couple, but there aren't very many. And a lot of times they don't do the tracks quite right. They make these... I mean, these are pretty sharp turns already. Like, way sharper than this engine would ever go around. But... Whatever. I mean, it's just a game. No whistle signs. You don't know when to blow the whistle. So let's go ahead and start selling our crops. And here we go. I'm going to get my calculator open. Once, uh. There we go. It's right over the thing. I'm going to back up just a hair. And let me get my calendar going here. All right. 
Not my calendar, my calculator. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and sell. Uh, dump. 14273 dollars for our wheat harvest. Now, I'll be right back. Lest we forget, we also need to add in the straw from the wheat, because the straw is worth money. So we're going to add in this straw that we got off that field to get our final total for how, how our wheat did. All right, so let's go ahead and sell that. Dump it off. It should be worth quite a bit of money, honestly. I, I'm going to guesstimate, you know, six or seven thousand dollars, maybe more. Uh, we're on easy too, so it actually probably be worth a lot more. Okay, so plus five thousand four hundred and twenty-two dollars for a grand total of just under twenty thousand dollars, nineteen thousand six hundred and ninety-five dollars. So once again, nineteen thousand six ninety-five. Okay, it's time to sell our soybeans. Let's go ahead. So we had 19,695. Okay, the soybeans, 16,208. So you thought that this is going to be worth more, but it's actually worth less. And that can change. There's going to be days when this is actually worth more than wheat. But in general, well, the soybeans just lost out big time to wheat. Um... And that fluctuates. Once again, it fluctuates. That's why there cannot be any most valuable crop except. So, ladies and gentlemen, I just sold the bales. They're $2,940 a piece for a grand total of $41,160. I apologize. Stupid me. I did not press the record button when I did the, the sale. <laughs> Go figure. But... Uh, that is the grand total. So we had, once again, 16,000 some odd number for the soybean. We had $19,000, $19,600 for the wheat with the straw coming in at number one. $41,160 for the silage bale. Silage is the winner. Once again, silage at the biogas plant is not the winner. So if you make a bunch, you use a heart forage harvester and you make a bazillion dollars worth of silage and throw it down at the biogas plant, you're not going to really make that much money. But if you do it the way that we just did it with the bales and you wrap them and you sell them as silage, you're going to make a lot of money. That literally was double. $41,000 is over double the price of the wheat that we just sold. So you're literally doubling the amount of money you're getting off that field. And the nice thing is, once you seed grass once, it grows back. You don't have to fertilize it. You don't have to plow it. You don't have to do anything to it but mow it and harvest it. It takes a couple, it's a little longer growing period. It was two days on the, har the, wheat, and the, the, bar, uh, the wheat and the soybean. It took us almost three and a half days to grow the grass. But that's where the money's at. So if you want to make money a lot faster in this game, when you're starting out, plant all your fields with grass, sell your harvester, sell all your tractors, just keep the one most horsepower tractor, buy a baler. Once again, the cheapest way to do it, it's going to be a lot of work, but get this little round baler, get the Ursus bale wrapper, and get this bale collector. And, and then you're going to get a mower. You're going to need to go back and you're going to need to buy. I honestly, I like, uh, where is it, this mower. Um, because the, the, uh, the disc bind for a good starting mower, because the disc bind has a wide swath and, uh, it cuts and then leaves it in a nice little pile. So you don't even need a windrower. You cut with the disc bind, you round bale it, you go back and you wrap it, and then you take it to market with your trailer and you sell it and you're going to be making, well, if you're on easy 2,900, I think on the hard mode, it's about $900 a bale, but it's still double what the fields normally give you. So if you want to make more money, it's kind of cheaty, sell the silage bales. That's where it's at. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it educational. And uh, I will see you next time. Uh, be sure to watch all my series. We have a bunch of farms that we're running. I've got my friend uh, Kyle running on one farm, Micah running on another farm. We have uh, American Heartland where we all get together with Mason. And it's Kyle, Paul, Mason, um, 
Micah and myself. And uh, we are running a really big farm there with a lot of heavy equipment, but then we also have some smaller farms that we're doing. Uh, I also do American Outback with my kids. Haven't done it for a while, but I will be getting back into that soon. And then um, on most Saturdays, I live stream on Twitch. And you guys can, it's, it's Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash VBLU guitar. Uh, and if you want to watch us there, you can watch my, my stream there. Uh, and then we also post that to YouTube, you know, that same day. I post it up there so you guys can watch the live stream. Usually for two or three hours, I'll stream on, on a Saturday. Uh, and you're welcome to join on those Saturday sessions. Um, so anyway, have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe, and I will see you on the fields. If you really like this video and you want to help my channel out, you can also donate. Uh, there is a script in uh, the description. If you go into the description there, it will say to donate. And there's a link to PayPal, and you can donate to my channel. That way lots of people do it. It helps my channel grow, helps me keep the equipment running, helps me uh, be able to upgrade my computer when uh, new games come out. Uh, anyway, have a great night, guys, and we will see you on the farm.